What is ICO? In blockchain industry, you can always hear that one project is launching its ICO or start a fundraising through ICO. So, what exactly is ICO? Initial Crypto Token Offering, or is shortly known as ICO, is the way to raise funds through issuing tokens. Many blockchain-based projects use its own crypto tokens to represent rights of yield, shares, and rights of utilization. Thus, the tokens can be distributed to investors according to the proportion of funds they invest, and can be further traded in exchanges for some cryptocurrencies. Literally or operationally, many people may certainly associate ICO with IPO and crowdfunding. But to differentiate it from crowdfunding, ICO allows investors to immediately trade their tokens in exchange. Once a project is recognized by market, the demand of its tokens would then increase sharply, so that the investors could get a good return. Moreover, the excellent liquidity of those tokens would yield higher premium for the project valuation. The most popular project in blockchain industry is the Ethereum, which has raised about 18 million US dollars during its ICO in September 2014. Everyone invested in Ethereum has gained a certain proportion of Ether. In August 2015, the Ether started to be traded on Poninex. The ICO price of each Ether is 1.5 yuan. Well, with the Ethereum being widely recognized, the price once soared to 180 yuan highs. In May 2016, a purchase of ICO reached a new stage. The DAO, a blockchain-based project, full name of Decentralized Autonomous Funds, raised about 150 million US dollars in its crowdfunding, which broke all related records around the world. High yields are always accompanied by high risks. ICO is of no exception, which also contains great potential risks. The success of a project depends on many factors, including the quality of the project itself and the ability of the team, as well as the possibility of frauds existing in any link. This requires investors to have a high degree of discrimination, a deep understanding of the industry, and adequate research of the project and its team. If a false judgment made, everything could be lost. In recent years, projects that choose to raise funds through ICO have been emerging continuously, both in China and overseas. And the total amount of funds raised is also increasing exponentially, among which many excellent projects have let its investors earn great profits. To transact equity at the very beginning of a project may disrupt the whole investment and fundraising logic in the future. At the startup of a project, this way can let more people participate and achieve a global collaboration. Perhaps in the future, other industries beyond blockchain could start to notice this brand new way of fundraising. Got it?